It's business as usual at Philadelphia's 30th Street Station. Train service is restored along Amtrak's busy Northeast Corridor. Nearly one week after the deadly derailment. Hello everyone, I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Pat Shiraki. Eyewitness News was there when the first train pulled out of 30th Street Station. Amtrak is saying this besides some signal issues at the crash site in Port Richmond. There were no problems with the New York bound trip. Crews spent the weekend installing new speed controls on that section of track where the train 188 derailed. Today, investigators from the NTSB are expected to meet with the FBI to look at the crack in the train's windshield. And this, a funeral service was held this morning for one of the eight people who died in the crash. Rachel Jacobs was CEO of an educational software startup here in Philadelphia. For more now, we turn to Eyewitness News reporter Jan Carabello. Thanks for traveling this track. Have a great safe day. A warm back welcome back here at 30th Street Station for those taking northbound trains. Normal Amtrak service between Philadelphia and New York restored Monday morning. And despite unanswered questions about how and why Amtrak 188 left the tracks, passengers on the first train out had no concerns. I'm confident. I believe Amtrak wouldn't put us back on route unless they thought it was safe to put us back on route. I don't have a lot of issues with Amtrak. Uh, I ride them all the time. I'm sure Amtrak has done the necessary uh, repairs and taken precautions for safety. I'm not worried. Mayor Michael Nutter was on hand to see the train off at 6 a.m. Confident in Amtrak safety, he says he would have been on board as well if he had business in New York City. And the system is safe. It works. I take it all the time. Amtrak says about 300 people worked around the clock since Tuesday's accident to repair the rails. And as trains travel around the curve in Port Richmond today, it is the first time automatic train control is in place on the northbound track. What that'll do is basically provide an assurance that the, re that the train will come to a stop if there's a violation of speed in that area. And by the end of the year, all of the Northeast Corridor is scheduled to have the technology. Riders have faith they're in good hands. It's great to have the train service back. So it's back to business here at 30th Street Station. An Amtrak spokesperson says despite that 6 o'clock train getting a little bit of a late start and some signal issues through the crash site, it ran smoothly to New York City. Reporting in Philadelphia, Jan Carabello, CBS3 Eyewitness News. On 